Hello and welcome to another video on a landing page feedback. This time we're talking about metametrics and this was directly from Indie Hackers and the the, per, the person who posted it, I assume one of the founders, um, they were basically wanted some feedback regarding the messaging on the landing page and so here we are. Let's just do that. Okay, so where do we begin let's look at you know the header right how do you allocate your engineers teams time so the this is an interesting header because it starts with a question and not a lot of people usually start their their header their h1 with a question because usually what they do is they just put something out there that summarizes in very very few words what their product does so this is a different approach which you know fair enough now the question is can you answer your own question so here it says how do you allocate your engineering team's time discover and track emerging trends in your github repository so first question i have as an engineer um so you support github and repository is that you know is that a typo or do you just support one repository like so does that work only on one project or multiple um that's a good question right okay and then your call to action says start a free trial which it's a bit early on to start a free trial when you don't really tell me anything about the product right i like though that you have you know no credit card required here so that's good to know i have no you know no risk of losing money or like you know paying anything up front now the next part here is very interesting there's two dashboard or rather graphs that show you issues by product area and issues per customer so what do you mean by customer are we talking about internal stakeholders are we talking about something else this is a big question mark for me issues by product area i understand this a little bit better product area can be you know different parts of your engineering team it could be you know your front end back end it could be something like more more specific but that's so you're basically giving me two charts that i have to interpret myself and i think that these ch charts are very 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 generic it would be it would make so much more sense if these charts were actually um showing you or showing me rather how and you know a typical engineer team have you know what are the product areas that a typical engineering team would have and how is this chart helping me figure out how to allocate better my engineering team's time i don't think looking at these two things will help me so basically i feel like in this first part of the website i'm missing out on some information um what other kind of metrics do you and how do these metrics automatically you know refer to saving time because that's not enough having these these two graphs is not enough especially because these two graphs are very generic they could be pretty much anything then you follow up with a question again is this tool for you well i don't know you tell me what is the balance of engineering resources we allocate to each customer okay how do you how do you how do you you know how do you handle this balance of engineering resources rather like do you have a formula because this could be you know every com company might have a different they have a different formula to like balance out engineering resources right is it like issues open and closed is it like lines of code is it you know i guess issues probably so if that is the thing, if you balance engineering resources by, you know, allocating certain developers to issues that are open, that have a lot of, of a really important, um, you know, effect on the product so that your customers ultimately are happy or sad about it, then maybe that's what you should write, right? Are some areas of product getting too much love and others not enough? Okay. Are we still in alignment with the high level goals we set at the start of the quarter? So this is basically like if you do like agile or some kind of agile, this is like what is your sprint planning, right? Like are you uh, adhering to the KPIs or are you following the sprint 
you know close enough with the objective set so you see these words that i'm saying you might want to plug this in because you want to talk the same language as the people who will be you know buying for this so try and think in in, in terms of like the people who want to buy this they want to hear the specific words and you they want to have the, the the perfect answers you know so you gotta ask the perfect questions then you follow up and again here's another question right if you want to answer this question for your company or team this this tool is for you okay so how how does it work how is this gonna make my company or team better so I press this button nothing happens and you hit me up with some more text which I'm not going to read because I'm ready to get started I'm definitely not ready to get started at this point I need to sh see like maybe a video here I need to see some testimonials I need to see something that tells me how other companies are using your product product so here you hit me with some check marks use good data to back up your instincts about where to deploy engineering resources perfect get actionable insights about neglected product areas perfect fix customer churn before it happens perfect I mean this is really like could you really from your engineering effort fix customer churn this is a big stretch um and look at engineer so all of these things that you've mentioned i feel like this could be you know covered in like a part of your website where you explain whether you use the z pattern where there's like an image and some text that supports it you know problem supporting evidence you know text supporting evidence as an image or a video video image whatever you know this could be the right place to do it pick a plan that fits your needs so here you can show me that I have to pay all this and you know I get to this part here and I'm like seriously you're asking me for money I don't even know what I'm buying and then here is a little bit of some features customer breakdown product areas bugs issue dashboard control center so this you know I get for free you know issues I get for free on github bugs get this for free on github product areas interesting control center all right let's read what each one of these is customer breakdown see how much engineering effort you spend on each customer um again this is very market specific some people you know they don't have a customer you know so or they have multiple customers i mean they don't have multiple I, I, this is i'm not sure what this feature really is it doesn't really speak to me high level trends what trends and issues creating close over time this is great you know you know if we see like that we are really sucky at, I don't know uh, something with sockets right uh, real-time sockets then this this could be interesting learn how your time is divided between different product areas again this could be interesting but there's labels on github and they help you do that control center get an over overarching view of the most important metrics at a glance fair enough um, what are the metrics you're talking about? What are the important metrics you're talking about? Is there something defined or do I decide? And then, yeah. About us included at the bottom of the of, of your landing page. It's, it's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. What's not okay though is this is the second call to action that does not work. Um, what else are we missing here? Oh, I, I spoke about testimonials not being sure what the product has to offer what are the metrics that you can track what are the metrics that you can use to come up with your decisions and more importantly show me where do i save money where do i save money anyways hopefully this is a good enough video of my first impressions of your website metro metrics it's all in your hands but let me know if you like this video by subscribing to my channel or let me know in the comments. That would be super dope. Thank you.